All right, guys, we're out here at 3777 Challenger Drive. This one is on two separate lots. There's a house and then a casita with a bunch of garages. I actually filmed it eight years ago. Out here, checking it out again for some clients. Hang out, check it out too, and I'll talk to you in a minute. All right, guys, so this is actually two separate parcels. There's a house on one and then a separate casita with a bunch of garages. So we're just gonna look at the RV garage side today uh, for clients because these properties can be separated and they are just interested in the other side. Very south end of town, super close to uh, Havasu Riviera Launch Ramp. Just shooting this house so you can kind of see what's next door. The whole thing's listed for 1.1. We're not really sure how much they're going to be separate, so we'll find out. So you can see where the property lines between the two water boxes here. So there's plenty of room. Maybe do a good neighbor wall on the other wall if you're gonna buy just half of it. The whole place total is four bedrooms, five baths. The house does have a pool. Huge, huge cigar in the front yard here. Vacant lot next door. So you still have a ton of side access for RV, boat parking. And I remember there's plenty of room in the backyard for a pool set up. There's people here, so I don't know if I'll have to do a voiceover, but. So you have this big, it's almost like five car garage over here. And then you have the little casita. All right guys, we're in the front door of the casita garage setup. It doesn't list the square footage, but something we'll have to find out. Look like a uh, satil tile floors, bolted ceilings, or not bolted ceilings. So you got a tiled kitchen counter. So I remember there's no fridge, but it has this like uh, under counter type fridge. You can easily put a fridge over in the corner or even in the garage. The whole garage is on central air. There's also French doors out to the side yard. And your door out to the garage space. So it's also a livable square footage section. It's a pretty big space. Double door, French doors out to the backyard. Tall ceilings in here as well. And then there's also a bathroom with some built-in storage, dual sinks, a tiled walk-in type shower. We also have a little walk-in closet. All right, so off the kitchen, you have the huge garage setup. So you have an RV garage site. It's 47 feet deep with a 12 foot door. It's got cameras, man door out to the backyard. Big power in this place, I remember. So it has a huge roll up door in the back go check out the back in a minute. I remember they had like uh, 240 come into the property here and they did all the epoxy floors too. Put tons of lights in this place. You have your little utility sink and there is stem outs all over the garage for air. Again, the whole place is on central air. 
and is on solar so you can just run these things without having to worry about a bill. So this is where your air compressor lives and feeds all the stem outs for the air around the garage. You have two water heaters. Actually, it looks like one's not even hooked up. And then your soft water. So this is a huge space. I think it says 52 feet wide. You have a little bathroom in here as well. It's your standard fiberglass type shower. Solid surface counters. There's also a laundry room in here right next to the bathroom. There's your beer fridge. And then there's a door out to the other garage setup, also on central air. I believe this one's all 35 feet deep, nine foot doors, about 50 feet wide. Tons of lights in here as well. So all the doors are insulated, of course. You have a little utility sink set up. There's also um, stem outs for the air compressor out here as well. There's a hose bib right here, a door out to the side area. The whole place is on alarm. There's even uh, commercial like type roll up door contacts on the doors. All right, let's go check out the backyard space to make sure there's enough room to do a pool. So they had brought in uh, 240 power. So there's a ton of power going to this place, but now they did the uh, solar. It's a fully passive solar system. So it handles all the power from this part of the house. Plenty, plenty of room for a pool. There's a little retaining wall back here that you can build off of already. It's also looks like a 50 amp and another two hose bibs. So you can see the house next door has the pool. The garages on that one are 40 feet deep with a seven foot door. And you can see the uh, French doors coming out of the bedroom in the living area. There's, looks like there's cameras everywhere. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the quick little video of the Casita Garage House over here on Challenger. Again, if you guys uh, have any questions, always feel free to reach out to me with any questions. All my direct contact information is right below this video. You guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon.